background check for criminal records. In this video we're going to go over all the options you have to do a criminal uh, records background check on anybody using local, state, and county resources. Uh, so to get started go to sheriffsdepartment.net and what you'll find here is resources for 50 states and uh, for this example I'm going to uh, go ahead and choose the state of Maryland here. Uh, the procedure is going to be very similar for most states except for a few that are slightly uh, more difficult but overall most states have, will have a very similar procedure so I'm going to go ahead and just choose uh, Maryland for this example first option you have is to do an instant name search and this is this gives you a look at like a big picture look at uh, records people have all across America uh, it looks at uh, public databases and some private databases also so I like to use uh, the local one and the national one in combination uh, the local one if you scroll down will give you uh, state resources but what uh, kind of limits you with that is it's state only so if people move around people travel so they could have a paperwork trail in another place so to make sure nothing is missed it's a good idea to run both uh, but when it comes to background checks you have your essentials court records uh, recorder's office criminal records driving records could potentially have uh, like traffic uh, related uh, cases could also be criminal uh, criminally charged depending uh, what people were pulled over for uh, possibly business lookup incarceration records obviously prison records and sexual offender registry uh, these are state wide resources you can also go county Th but this really allows you to zoom in on uh, court records at the county level uh, you're able to look at inmate databases mug shots arrest records and so what we have done is for every state we have found all the official resources and you're able to utilize this uh, these databases uh, to do your criminal records background check so let's take a look at a couple of these um, more essential record types so each state will typically give you an option to do a background check a lot of uh, times they are more focused on em employment on uh, fingerprint based background checks things like that some of them will allow you to do a simple name check just depends on the state and if you just look over the page it will give you the instructions on wh whatever type of whatever the background check is done it will uh, give you instructions on how to proceed with that so uh, you also have uh, court records and any criminal cases uh, after the arrest eventually somebody does go to a judge and so that creates a court record and court records are considered public uh, records and so you're able to look at all sorts of cases people uh, have had uh, by using uh, court records and so sometimes you will be able to do this for free like in this case all you need is a first and a last name if you really want to narrow something down if you want civil records criminal records traffic uh, you can actually uh, kind of uh, play around with the search in a lot of cases and, and get exactly what you're looking for you can sort by dates things like that and this will depend on the state obviously not all the states allow you or provide a statewide court check so sometimes you have to go and do this at the county level uh, just a uh, heads up there and um, another thing about court records you have you have uh, different types of courts that deal with different types of records so it's it's good to know if you are um, if you want to do Mr. Neaver uh, small claims evictions traffic you in Maryland's case here and this will depend on the state you'll you want to make sure you're looking at district court records a uh, circuit court will do a higher level uh, criminal records like felonies and things like that 
and then they will get pushed up to the Court of Appeals if they can't get a decision in the lower courts. So just something to know and there is a court page and we have specifically outlined each of the courts and where you can go uh, do a check. A lot of times a docket search can be done for free. If you need more details on a particular case, sometimes they'll give it to you online. Sometimes you'll actually have to request it um, from the court of clerk's office or they do have public terminals a lot of times where you can come into a local court office and, and search court records that way. Um, another a couple of databases to check out for criminal records when it comes to background checks would be incarceration records and uh, the sexual offender registry and uh, in, this just lets you search uh, prisoners within the system so there is a difference between people that that are in jail and then people that are sent to prison so these are going to be prison records if somebody was arrested for maybe going too fast and then released the next day you might not find them here but if they were sentenced for like a burglary uh, things like that and they actually went to a prison uh, this is where you can find these inmates um, also each state will give you a statewide sex offender registry database and you're able to search that um, at the state level and sometimes the sheriff's department will have their own local database so you might want to look into that also so there's all sorts of things to look at uh, inmates we have actually specialized pages for inmate searches uh, warrant searches court records criminal records and background checking so for Back, uh, for criminal record background checks come to sheriffsdepartment.net I'll uh, leave a link in the description come on down and uh, see what we have available thanks